All right, so here at the Career Center, this is what we do. All right, we help people like you decide, is a creative career right for me? And we start off your junior year by attacking the fundamentals. Because the fundamentals that exist in animation, photography, drawing, graphic design, game design, they're all the same. It's all the same group of fundamentals. So in your junior year, we go after those fundamentals hard. We talk about typography, we talk about images, we talk about color usage, we talk about lighting. How do you properly light a scene in a photograph versus how do you properly light a scene in say game design, okay? So we hit upon all those touch points, right? And while we're doing that, we teach you the industry standard Creative Cloud software so that that way, you know, you're, you're prepared, especially for your senior year. Your senior year is where we're going to f help you focus more on the discipline that you decide to pursue. So you're interested in animation, correct? Yeah. Okay. Right. So what we do then is your senior year, we bring you in and we start working more on an animation track for you. By the time you're done your senior year, you're going to have a portfolio of 10 to 15 professional pieces, okay, which is exactly what is expected in the industry standard. You're going to have a capstone project, which is a, a large overarching project of all of your knowledge that you've, that you've done in the two years here, which is pretty unique. Angelina is doing a graphic novel. That's her capstone project. So that involves writing. It involves doing thumbnails, outline. It involves doing um, graphic layout. It, it involves three, four pieces of software. Okay, and then it also involves how do I get that from the print environment into the web environment? What if I want to animate it? How do I prepare my artwork for those things? Okay, so that's what's critically important. So that's what we do here. We basically provide you a pathway to discover what am I going to do with my creativity, but mostly how am I going to make a living doing it? All right, how, how many times have you guys heard you'll never make a living as an artist? right? You'll be a starving artist. Well, that's a bunch of nonsense because the fact is the creative fields are exploding. It's not just painting, drawing, etc. It's web applications. It's gaming. Gaming is, it, gaming is outpacing the, most, the motion picture industry three to one in terms of content, getting things out there. Okay? But again, you need to focus on the fundamentals first, and then we take you down that career path you want to pursue, okay? When you come here your junior year, you're going to be assigned an iPad, and you'll have a, be assigned an iMac workstation. You're going to work between the two of those systems. If you want to draw traditionally, you can, as we have artists here who draw traditionally. Then you take, you digitize those drawings, those paintings, etc. And then you bring them into the digital world and you actually apply them to various projects, okay? Uh, I can give you a, a good example. This artist, this artist that I'm going to show you did this illustration traditionally. And what we did is we it was photographed. We brought it into Photoshop. We had to straighten the photograph out, color correct it a little bit. And this is just a test print. This isn't actually the poster material it's going to go on. But this was done by cutting stencils and using spray paint. And yet, it's a very viable illustration. Okay? And the artist is right there. That's this is Garrett Gerwig's work. Okay? This is his work. This is a project that a senior did. This was done mostly digital. The only part that wasn't done digitally that was done traditionally is when you're in the rough stage or the concept stage. So what I require of projects, especially those that are multifaceted, like this one, this is a project in what's called derivative design. So you have to design a poster for an event, and that event was up to the artist choosing. Then you need to do derivatives of that singular design. So this poster has to be turned into a postcard, not only to be mailed, but also as a leave behind. So if you go to, say, a club, or you go to a, a concert event uh, venue, you're gonna have a postcard as a take behind, but also, again, they can be mailed. 
Then from there, the next project we do is for the web. How do I make a web ad, okay, or some type of web promotion based on the original design? You obviously can't have the full poster on a small web ad, correct? So what methods are you going to use to communicate the same information? Okay, you need to reduce the size of the image, you need to change the copy, but animation is the way to go, or one of the ways to go. Because if you animate it, the information flows across the screen, okay, and you can present it in such a way, but the impact that you have to make has to be immediate. And that's where the different, the different ways to design things come in. That's where derivative design occurs. How do I make the most impact with the format that I have? Okay. Oh, this was done by Angelina Call right there. Okay. Okay. The computer room will show you the computers a little bit. In here we have a wide format printer. We have a we have a label maker. We also have we also have a wide format um, four color process label maker. We can make labels. We can make um, we can make uh, clear, uh, clear window clings. We can actually use a printable vinyl and four color process that makes t-shirts. And the vinyl itself is designed to adhere directly to the fibers of the t-shirt, which gives you far, far um, more durability than um, say silk screen and that type of thing. Okay, if it's made properly. So you'll, the project the project will start out there, okay, in the common room, and you start with pencil and paper, or you start right on the iPad. You start sketching. You start you start making your concepts, okay. You start putting things together. Then you come in here, and we we have a lesson, a lecture. We talk about how do we take the roughs, the concepts, and make them into reality. How do we turn them into a viable commercial project? The difference between this class and any other art class you take is we are focused on one thing, and that is the saleability of your artwork, period. Whether you're doing it for your own self and selling it, or whether you're working in a commercial environment and you're working for a company and you report to a creative director or an art director, design director. And what we do here in this class is we structure our projects in such a way that you are working in a design studio, in that real world environment. It's mission critical that when you leave here, you understand the steps it takes to put projects like this together, okay? So not only do we try to teach you how to use the software in here, get you certified in Photoshop, get you certified in Illustrator, but we also try to teach you more importantly, how do I think creatively? How do I properly research a project? How do I take what I've learned in researching that project and turn it into a creative solution for the, for the problem, the visual problem that I have? Because that's what designers are, we're problem solvers, right? And when you work for a client, an ad agency, a design studio, a marketing firm, a packaging company, a, you know, a printer, okay? You get paid for it, okay? which is a good thing, right? So we have a lecture, we have a class, and I run you through the initial tools that you're going to need, that you're gonna to need to successfully complete the project. But I, I am a true believer, okay, in self-exploration and working independently. So what I encourage is every student to question, how do I do this? How do I accomplish this, okay? I encourage you to look up tutorials, expand your knowledge. You don't need to wait for me to come over to your desk. I want you to explore, I want you to try things, I want you to experiment. And then what I'm gonna help you do is build that world around that experimentation and those things that you've done. Because a lot of times, teaching yourself is the fastest way to go, right? Because you learn, everyone learns their own way, okay? And that's what's important, and that's what Garrett did, okay?
Garrett asked me, how do I do X, Y, Z? I explained it to him and then he kind of took off, jumped into the next, jumped to the next level and we moved through the project that way, okay? And most of the projects are done that way. Vin, raise your hand, Vin. Vin is actually, his goal is actually to become a creative director for a gaming company. Now as a creative director, you have to know writing, you have to know design, you have to know production, okay? So for Vin, his experience here is to embellish his writing talent and learn how to apply that into the visual world. And as we work together, we are working to customize projects for him that actually combine those two interests and passions that he has, okay, so that he can get closer to his goal. Now, I think for, for Vin, there's probably going to be some post-secondary education. There's probably going to be a little bit of college. There's probably going to be some, some other courses, okay? But we're going to give him a great foundation to start with, okay?